amazing artist. Uh, it's, it's so excited to see you all again. Uh, so today, what I'm going to show you how to do is this. I'm going to teach you how to make some salt dough, which is like make at home clay. Super cool and fancy, I know. And so we're going to uh, do that today. I'm gonna to show you step by step on how to make your own salt dough. And then with that salt dough, I'll show you a couple of different things that you can make uh, with it. Like little creatures, like turtles and owls, or like little bowls, or whatever you wanna make, uh, you can make that too. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so here's what you're going to be learning about in this video. You're going to learn how to make these amazing creatures. First thing I'm going to show you in the video is how to create salt dough. And then you'll see how to learn how to create this cute little bunny. Then you'll learn how to create this owl. Then the sea turtle. Then you will see how to create a little animal pinch pot like this and a little heart pinch pot like that. You will be able to create all five of these with the one giant piece of salt dough that you'll make, or you could create one big thing like a big pinch pot, or maybe your favorite thing like the sea turtle, you just wanna make one of those. Uh, for coloring in your creation, you can do it in multiple different ways. You could use markers to color it, watercolors, or acrylic paints or whatever paints you have at home and I'll show you a couple different uh, ways you can paint it in. So here we go. After you are done making your amazing pieces, make sure that you put them in the oven to cook. They need to fully cook and get hard. Once you do that, then you can color them in and make them look amazing. So here's one way you can color in your pieces using just markers. Also, another idea, if you do not have paints, you can use uh, your markers and then add water to uh, whatever you colored in uh, using a paintbrush or a Q-tip or something like that to paint in uh, your uh, piece. You can also use watercolors to paint in your piece. So you can also use, if you have paints, you can just use regular paints. If you just have the primary colors, remember you can always mix them to get other colors of the rainbow. So for example, here I mixed red and yellow so I could get orange. All right, one last thing I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you how you can use markers and water to create uh, really cool uh, techniques. So here I'm using yellow and blue markers to primary colors. Um, and then you'll see how I mix water so I can get a uh, secondary color. All right, these are our beautiful creations uh, for the eyes of my bunny I use little paper eyes um, as a little add-on just an idea if you want to do that too um, and I added some little extra details with a sharpie marker once everything finished drawing um, so that's another idea that you may want to use as well so I hope you have a super fun time making these and um, and I'd love to see what you create have fun
All right, so for our salt dough recipe, you are going to need three ingredients. The first ingredient you're going to need is one fourth cup of salt. Mm -hmm. All right, and then the second thing you're going to need is three tablespoons of water. Now in the video, Ms. Strickland used two and then later on added a third one, but make sure you start with three tablespoons. All right, then the third thing you're going to need is a half a cup of flour. All right, once you have all of those three things, you're going to mix, mix, mix them all together in a bowl. Make sure you mix it really good. And then after you have made your amazing creations, you're going to preheat your oven to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, and then you'll cook your um, clay or amazing art pieces uh, for about one to one and a half hours and then let it cool for another hour or so. All right, we are ready to make our salt dough. We have our ingredients ready, a bowl and a spoon to mix it all in. We're going to start with a quarter cup of salt, then a half a cup of flour, and then last but not least, three tablespoons of water. All right, first thing, we're gonna pour the salt into the bowl and then add our three tablespoons of water. All right, then we're going to add in our half a cup of flour and mix, mix, mix it all together. Once we have mixed it, we're going to gather all that dough and start kneading it and forming it into a ball. So you'll have to get a little messy here. Start forming it with your hands once it gets to a right consistency where you can start shaping it like clay or like Play-Doh. So go ahead and form it with your hands. It'll take a little bit of time and voila there it is all right we are ready to get started first thing we're going to do is take off a piece of that dough and roll it into a ball then we're going to roll it into a coil which is like a clay snake we're gonna roll it roll it roll it um, nice and long the first thing we're doing here is making a little bunny and so I'm going to measure, make sure it's about nine inches long. Once I've got that, it's good to go. Then I'm going to make a uh, long U shape and I'm going to take a pencil towards the bottom and wrap the bottom of the U over the pencil. I'm going to put these little bunny ears through the hole. Then I'm going to kind of push them together. I'm going to flip it over to the front and pull that pencil out. And now I'm going to start shaping my little bunny and you can shape the ears and uh, kind of push it together and form it, make sure it's nice and stuck together. Then once you've got all of that ready to go, you can take little tools like a pencil and add little eyes and a mouth or a nose, add little paw prints. Um, if you've got a pen, that might be a little bit easier to use if it's got a pointier edge. Find things, you could use a toothpick, whatever works for you. And there you go, got a cute little bunny. Then once you've got your clay creations, you're going to put them on a uh, baking sheet. Make sure you've got something like aluminum foil or parchment paper to put it on. All right, so now we're going to move on to the next thing, which is making a little owl. And we're going to take a piece of that dough and roll it into a nice ball. All right, now we're going to take that ball of uh, dough and flatten it into a nice big cookie. If you remember when we made clay, this is called a slab when we make a flat piece of clay. In this case, flat piece of dough. Now what I'm going to do is take something like a marker cap and add little details, little textures to create like owl feathers. So I'm just pressing my marker cap into the dough to make those textures. But you can use other tools too if you have them at your home and get creative with that. Once I have those, then I'm going to take each uh, side of the circle. I'm going to just flatten it inside like a little burrito and uh, flatten it just a little bit to make the feathers of my owl. Then I'm gonna take the top and fold it down. I'm gonna fold that dough down. 
um, and then flatten that just kind of push it with my finger down flatten it a little bit and then I'm gonna create the little owl uh, feather top our little feather tips um, on his head and I'm just gonna shape those until I'm happy with how I want my owl to look so that's that then I'm gonna bring my little marker cap friend back to create the eyes. I'm gonna push it in and then I'm gonna use something like a pencil or a pen to create the eyes for my owl. And then you can also use things like a pen or a pencil to shape uh, something like uh, the beak. All right, then you can also take uh, like a pencil or something that you can use to uh, cut off a little bit of the edges of your owl if you want to shape it so it's a little more round uh, that's optional um, but you can do that as well and that's it all right we are ready to do the next Thing. We are going to be creating little turtles. We're going to take another piece of that dough off and roll it into a nice ball. Then what we're going to do with that ball, we're going to make three coils. So we're going to divide it um, into three coils, leave a little extra for the shell of our turtle. So we're going to first take the little tiny ball, we're going to roll it into a coil. Remember, a coil is a clay snake. We're making little baby snakes this time. So we're gonna do the first one, now we're doing the second one, rolling it into a coil, and after we do that, we will do the third one. So you'll need three coils like this. All right, now we're going to take that little piece of dough and form it into a little ball of clay. This is going to be for our turtle shell. Once we have that, put that to the side. Now we're going to take our coils. We're gonna take one coil and a second coil, put it on top of that coil to form the letter T. Then we're going to turn it to make the letter X and put our third coil right down in the middle. So now we are starting to form our turtle. Now I'm going to take that ball of clay. I'm going to flatten it just a little bit like a little baby cookie. I'm gonna add a little water to the back and to my turtle body and then press that little flat piece onto my turtle to make the shell. Uh, once I have that, I'm going to just shape the little feet of my turtle, just make them a little more pointy the way I want it to be. I'm gonna take off one of the ends. I'm gonna make it into my turtle tail. So I'm just gonna take off a little extra dough to make it a little bit smaller and shape it and pinch it. And once I have all that, it's ready for the textures. I'm gonna take my little marker cap again and add those little details with uh, the marker cap. And then you can use a pencil uh, to add a little uh, face and eyes and that's it. Now I'm going to take my ball of dough and I'm going to take off a little piece that I'm gonna use later. The rest of it, I'm gonna shape it into a little ball and make a little mini pinch pot. Now, once I have a little bowl, I'm just uh, pinching the sides, as you can see, uh, to create that little bowl shape. Now I'm gonna take the rest of my clay and I'm gonna form it into a ball. And now, once I have that, I'm going to make it into um, a little animal head so you get creative with this you can be anything you want it to be um, and what I'm doing here is taking a little uh, pieces I'm pinching them to make the ears of my animal so it could be a cat or a fox or really whatever you want it to be some other kind of creature would work too right then I'm gonna add a little water I'm gonna add a little water to both sides and then I'm gonna uh, attach them by squeezing them together and then smoothing them on giving it a little pinch pinch and a smoothing smooth and it should be good to go then my little animal head will be attached I'm gonna finish uh, shaping the bowl into the way I want then I can add little details like the face with a pencil or a pen whatever you got at home um, it kind of looks like a little peep bunny or something I'm not sure what it is but you you get creative and make it into whatever you want it to be and it's just a cute little baby uh, animal ball 
that's it. If you didn't really want to do the animal uh, pinch pot, I'm going to show you another option, and this is to make a little heart uh, bowl or heart pinch pot. Uh, to make a pinch pot, what you're going to do first is roll it into a ball, and then I'm going to stick my thumb inside the middle of the clay, and then pinch like that with like my whole hand, and then my other hand is going to turn the dough as I pinch with my whole hand to make the pinch pot. That's how I make a little pinch pot bowl. And then I'm going to shape it into the way I want it to be. Get it nice and smooth, nice and deep like a little bowl. And then to make a heart, I take a pencil and I slowly just push in gently uh, to create that top of the heart shape. Then I'm going to take the other end and uh, pinch it to make the corners or the corner part of the heart to make it nice and heart shaped. So I'm just gonna keep shaping it until the way I want it and that's it. That's how you make a little heart uh, pinch pot. You could do a heart shape or if you don't wanna do any shape at all and leave it as is and you just wanna make a little pinch pot bowl, you could do that too. All right, 